All right, uh, Dan, uh, Tennessee sort of stepped up in the playoffs here. Yeah, it always happens that way in this league. You know, the games get harder and more physical and tighter and more intense the further you go. So you really just have to make sure you're sticking to your process and staying calm. You know, we always try to play fast and with good fundamentals and with good physicality. And uh, that'll be even more important in game six. Uh, the club's most important game of the season tonight. You put up a six spot, you chase for a game. How happy are you to pick up the we have a lot of work to do yet in game six, and there were some good things in the game, but we know Kamloops, their level of intensity and speed and physicality will, will be ramped up even more. We've seen that throughout the course of the series, and they're going to come real hard on uh, uh, on that game, or in that game, I should say. So um, it's going to be a hard one to play, game six, and uh, we know we have to be ready for it. Philip Schultz, what a performance tonight. Uh, just what you saw from him. Pardon me, Schultz? Schultz. Yeah, Schultz was great. You know, Schultz work, works so hard all the time. He can play all sides of the ice, left and right. Um, he was, you know, it was a full 200 foot game today. And um, happy for him to get the hat trick there with uh, the empty net goal. But that's well deserved, you know, just intense effort all up and down the ice, 200 feet offense and defense. Uh, Noah Lamb as well getting his first career goal, a timely one being the game winner as well. Yeah, exactly. He was right there. I mean, we. He was up, he, he kind of smelt a little um, situation where the puck might come to him and he just kind of moved up there and had good timing on where the puck might be and got a quick release off that stuck through. Um, it's been such an emotional series, this series so far. How yeah. do you channel that into success for your team? Yeah, the main thing is you just have to stay really steady and really level and use the emotion to your advantage and um, not let it be a distraction. The more you can use it to your advantage and, and just try to keep it very even, you know, take uh, take the positives where they are and not focus too much on the negatives, the better off you are. What was the biggest difference between, uh, you know, game four and game five? Well, I would say discipline was a big key. I know we did take a few penalties, but for the most part, I thought we persevered through, you know, the physicality and all those kinds of things. Our special teams were good. You know, the penalty kill was solid. The power play converted and got a goal. Uh, we had a good start. I thought we were fast and physical off the start. And uh, so, yeah, I think it was just a, a good, complete team game in that way. But again, it's going to be way harder in the next game for Game 6. Yeah, when two teams uh, continue to trade wins, uh, what will you have to do to make sure that doesn't happen in Game 10? It's really about consistency. We know, again, we know they're going to come very hard. And we know that they're going to be full of speed and physicality and intensity as they always do. They play very well in that building. It's going to be a really difficult game. So we need to come out with a sense of extreme urgency and again just really try to be fast and physical ourselves and try to set the tone and get a good start. Talk about uh, Noah Lamb's uh, uh, game his first uh, goal in the playoffs. Yep. Yeah again um, going back to Schultz as well you know Schultz was rewarded with some goals for but it was all the things he was doing defensively and the details off the puck that really generated those things. It was the same with Noah. Noah was playing very solid good fundamentals physicality, he's moving the puck, he's defending very well, and so he's rewarded with opportunity and he converted into a goal. Not including the two empty netters at the end, through the first and third periods, Kamloops held the guys to nine shots, he has it 14 in the second. What was the biggest difference in that second period compared to the first one? You know, the, the periods I thought were actually very similar. Um, they did a pretty good job in those other two periods, getting in shooting lanes, you know, disrupting some pucks. Uh, we really need to try to use our speed to make sure we've got lots of um, lots of uh, entry into their zone, and if we can use our speed and try to control the puck, that definitely helps. Now, Game 6 is coming up on Monday. You've already mentioned the expect needs to come out with urgency. It's going to be Kamloops. They've had their back against the wall already. What do you guys have to do to make sure they're not able to hold the ice? Yeah, it's really at 0-0 right now, right? We're, we're going, we're playing one game, and we just want to focus on that. All the past is past. It's all history. It's 0-0. It resets for one game. And we have to have our best possible game. So I know they're going to have theirs. And they're hard to play against, especially in that building. Charles, the team's most important game of the year. You put up a hat trick. You know, where do you find that inside? You can just come out with one of your best games of the season. Uh, it was not... Uh, it was not only me, it was the whole team, and uh, when we play as a team, and that's our number one focus, then uh, it changed every night who, who will be the hero, and today it was, uh, I got the bounces, and uh, I thank my teammate a lot for that, and uh, it was not, no, nothing beautiful like my goal, so I, uh, my teammates helped me a lot today about that. Let's talk about how it helps this game. Um, you got the hat trick, but at the other end, uh, outhouse uh, made a hat trick of uh, brilliant saves and so very tough about that. No, I don't think anyone is surprised anymore about 
about Outhouse. I mean, he's a tremendous goalie, and we really appreciate it. And uh, he does it at practice too, as I have said here before. And uh, sometimes he pisses uh, the players off, but uh, but do it in a game, and especially in this important game, it is really huge. And uh, we're really thankful for having him. Philip, uh, you know, when we, we talked earlier in the year, you said coming over here to play the North American game. Is, is tonight maybe a game where you save and show the, the guys back uh, in Europe that this is the way you play hockey? <laughs> oh, I, I know that, like, today I, I got my points and I got the gold, but uh, I think I, I just found it found a way to, to contribute more to the team with playing physical. Uh, I have maybe lacked uh, a bit of that and uh, not contribute and help my teammates enough. And um, I went into this game with the mindset of you know, this will be the tough game. Both teams knew that this game is important and we know the next game is be, will be even more important. And uh, you have to play physical and contribute to the team and then uh, then you can have the, your bounces. Lammer gets his first uh, first goal. How excited was the bench to see him get that one? No, it was fun. And I don't want to take credit, but he's living at my place right now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he was, uh, he's a great kid and he has uh, he really played good since we called him up and uh, really surprised many. And, uh, it was uh, it was work hard uh, paid paid off. Yeah. yeah. What, what's the biggest building block in this game from you guys that you take in the next game? Uh, what's the biggest key that you guys won in this one? The key is to be ready for uh, not only this level but a little more. They're playing for their life now. They're playing in a t in their building, top building, um, like really really nice, really uh, noisy in there, and they. They play really physical in their own ring, so uh, that's the key. Be ready for that. Expect they're coming out hard, and we need to be ready from uh, first puck drop. Thank you. Clearly a rookie. No, your first career WHL goal turns out being the game winner. You can see the ground in your face. Uh, just talk about a little bit what that meant to you. It looked like it had a big more obvious for the bench, and just about this game as a whole. Um, I, I was excited to score something I have dreamt about since I was a kid. And, uh, Schultz gets the hat trick. Uh, just nice to see from him. Yeah, it's great. I'm uh, I'm actually his billet brother, so it's, it's uh, a great night for everyone. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it was a total team effort, and uh, I felt it was great. Jamie, talk about coming up to the team and now being thrown into the fire. What, what's there been a ride like so far for you? Uh, it's been a great experience. Uh, it's, it's honestly like a big family in there. Uh, I got all my brothers in there. And, uh, yeah, we're ready to roll and move on to the next game. Now you guys got game six coming up on Monday. Campbell just had their back up against the wall against Corona the day of that point. So they've been there and done that before. How do you guys make sure they can't repeat that performance? Same as uh, every night, we uh, follow our systems and we uh, play hard and for each other. And that's it. You mentioned that uh, Schultz is your billet uh, brother. He took some credit for that goal. What do you say to that? Oh, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a team effort, right? So. <laughs> He's a pretty funny guy. Yeah. Is he funny uh, at the billet's house? Yeah, he's a great brother. I, I've never had one. And, uh,